The wait is over for our Extreme Makeover Competition Ring Repair. The winner was Lexi, and this is her grandmother, and this is her ring that we're repairing. The biggest problem she had was two broken stones, one in each ring. All of the tips were quite worn. Also, this ring used to have a nice little mill grain texture here. So we're going to re-tip everything, we're going to redo the mill grain. We're also going to size it to fit her and solder the two bands together. First step, always cleaning. So we're going to get rid of those broken diamonds first. We're just going to gently push them out from the back, that way we don't damage the prongs any further. Just a gentle tap with the hammer and they come right out. These are two point single cut diamonds, single cut meaning they have less facets than a round brilliant and it's a sign of the age of the ring. We keep all sizes of diamonds in stock so we always have some to look through and I measure them to make sure that they are the right size, same size as the ones we remove. I clean up the seat for each of the new diamonds just to make sure we have a good placement for each new stone. Then put each new diamond in the spot where we tapped out the old one and they're a perfect match. Then do the same process for the other ring. This seat was perfect, just a little bit tight and a little push and it's in. We put a small ball of metal on top of each prong that's worn down, which is all of them. In this case, we did 32 tips. And at this stage, I'm not really worried about exactly how well they look. I just want to get some metal on top and I'll clean them up and make them all uniform in the next step. This took quite a while, so I've sped it up quite a bit, but I'm adding one little ball of metal on the top of each prong. And this is what it looks like when they're all in place. We're also sizing this ring up from a six to a six and a half so that Lexi can wear it. To do that, I have to add a small piece of metal to the bottom of each ring. So I cut the ring, find a little piece of gold that will fit perfectly, and then solder it in place. We're sizing them both up the same amount, so the same size piece went in each ring. I do a gentle tap on the back of the shank to make sure the ring is perfectly six and a half and that everything is lined up properly. Yep, six and a half, just right. After the little sizing chunks are added and soldered, I need to clean up those joints so that you cannot tell they're there. That's the key to sizing, make it look like it never happened. At this point, I'm gonna go back and clean up the tips I added. So I go over each little tip and make sure it's all the same size, using a little cup burr that helps me make sure they're all uniform. And I go over every single one, making sure it's round and won't snag, and has enough metal to hold the stone securely. One of the more difficult parts of this restoration was the mill grain texture around these stone seats. I'd use my microscope for that. Then comes the last part of soldering I have to do, which is soldering these two rings together. I take a lot of time and care to make sure they're lined up just right so that they fit nice and snug. Every time we add solder to the ring, there's always cleanup afterwards. So I'm going over this with my saw blade to make sure there's a nice clean line that shows where the two rings are separate. And then make sure it's all smooth, just like with the sizing, smooth and clean. And there we go, it's ready for polish. Polishing is one of the very last steps, but it's a very important one. I go over all the little details, all those little tips, with a little brush to make sure they're all shiny and uniform and clean, and then an overall polish, and then back in the cleaner. After it's all clean, we steam, we do a rhodium plating to make it bright and white, a final steam, and this is the final result. You can see those tips are high over the stones. All the stones, we're checking to make sure they're tight, and it's done. Well, that's a wrap for Mola and Ellie's 2024 Extreme Ring Makeover. We want to thank Lexi for trusting us with her grandmother's ring. We hope we've made it as beautiful as it was the first time she saw it. Mola and Ellie's has been here for 100 years. We hope to be here 100 more, keeping your heirlooms looking like the day they were first given. Congratulations, Lexi.